some um, coconut fiber. This is uh, our main ingredient for our, our seed starter. Um, we're gonna use some net cups. And here I have some of it in a, in a bucket. Keep in mind that this material will expand about 17 times of the size. And we just want to have enough to, to work with our, um, our starting you know, uh, seed starter. So just put it in a bucket, moisturize it, uh, and it will expand in a moment. Our uh, coconut fiber um, kind of loose and everything moist. I'm going to modify a little bit of something that I, that I got. This is again, this is a home size aquaponic system. So I got a regular, um, you know, seed starter kit that comes with a nice transparent cover. And I'm going to uh, use it for my net caps. So the net caps are going to be placed right there. And I'm going to plant, in this case, I'm going to plant some basil. I already have some other ones. Uh, with so many different type of stuff, but um, I'm gonna work with these two basils. This is called the Genovese, and this is the sweet basil. So I'm gonna just add some of the coconut fiber inside and just place it as a regular greenhouse, put a little bit of water inside, and that's it. Of having the our net cups right now full with uh, the seeds and the coconut fiber is that um we can actually lift them up and once they're ready we actually you know have to saw and trim the ones that are uh, you, i mean you gotta put more than one seed just in case the ones that are weaker or smaller you take them out then you let the other one grow and you can actually fully you know submerge just in into the the growing beds uh rafts or you know the gravel or spend the clay or the pipe in itself uh, perforate the pipe so there's plenty of advantages of having it like that you're also going to need a, a way of filtering the the water so you know the water actually uh, move all the stuff away take some of the dirt out or meaning the coconut fiber and good to go so now you got to put just a little bit of water inside cover up with your cover and and you know put it on a nice close to a window type of thing, warm situation. And once you get a, a um, danger of frost away from your garden, if you're not planning to, to work with a greenhouse, then you can start you know, using your aquaponic system or, or you know, just, just kind of place it outside. I hope um, this video helped you to understand how, how you start your, your aquaponic system, uh, one of the ways of starting it. And please subscribe, okay? Thank you.